Go ahead. Yeah. Hi, uh, I'm Vaishali Thakkar and I'm from Bangalore, India. I'm at Colonel Recipes uh, Paris 2018. Uh, it's my first time attending Colonel Recipes. I was used to uh, watch live stream, so it's good to be here. And uh, I gave a talk today on my journey of becoming a Linux kernel hacker from uh, knowing the kernel definition to uh, becoming a professional kernel hacker. And uh, I received quite an interesting comments slash questions. Uh, particularly, I loved about uh, how the discussion uh, on uh, encouraging more reviewers came into the picture and uh, more kernel developers were discussing it and uh, there were a bunch of quite an interesting point of view on how we can improve it or how we can get more uh, kernel newbies into uh, getting involved in into linux kernel wonderful great um yeah you must have come questions yeah um about our outreach like you you took part of it you are now like helping uh, other students, other 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 people to 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 join the current community. What can you say about the belt reach? Yeah, uh, so uh, I am now co coordinating as a Linux kernel co co coordinator uh, in outreach, uh, and uh, the next round is going on. The application period has started. We uh, as a kernel community have eight projects uh, this time. So if uh, anyone who qualifies uh, for outreach, it would be good uh, to apply over there and sign up into the mailing list, send us questions. Uh, we are always happy to help with your uh, first kernel contribution. I also give uh, guest lectures in Indian universities about the uh, Linux kernel first patch workshops. And uh, over the years, uh, I have seen quite a good number of uh, contributors into the Linux kernel. Some have also got job, which is good, uh, and in the Linux kernel as well. So yeah, I'm just quite happy about how slowly things are changing. Do you see a positive impact? You mentioned lectures and universities. I think education has a really big role to play there. Do you feel like the curriculums are moving fast enough or is there, um, some slowness that you perceive in India or other places. And then uh, maybe Gustavo, you can share your view as well in Brazil, but in India in particular, what's your perception of the curriculums and what the students you're talking to are learning in school? Mm -hmm. uh, as I mentioned in the talk, uh, I don't think uh, the course in the universities are changing. Like, as far as I know, only one university and uh, in India has a full course on Linux kernel. But other than that, people just learn about these things uh, in operating system course. That also depends on the, uh, you know, high level universities to the uh, state level universities and stuff like that. But I think what's changing is uh, uh, students are taking more part in, uh, you know, programs like GSOC, Outreachy, RGSOC, etc. And after taking part, they are also uh, building local communities in, uh, in their cities, in their colleges, universities, which is helping uh, other people to come forward because then they can see that if people who looks like us can do this, uh, we can do that as well. And uh, yeah, I try to go for the university, which is like tier So in India, we have like tier one, tier two, tier three sort of universities. So. Uh, I try to go for tier two or tier three universities where there is like zero or none open source culture and then try to collaborate with universities uh, to uh, start open source clubs over there uh, and then students can you know uh, participate in different projects um, so yeah i have when the uh, i have been doing this since like last two and a half year so and in some universities, they do have uh, started open source clubs and it has then again gotten us uh, good open source contributors. Okay. Uh, like when I first moved uh, to Bangalore, I came across this university, which is like a small town uh, near Bangalore. And uh, I uh, went there to give a talk. Uh, they didn't really have uh, much of an open source culture over there. But the person who uh, invited me, we uh, just met across some mailing list and she wasn't also much into the open source. But after I gave a talk, she uh, 
like uh, found it interesting she got involved with linux kernel she uh, got an outreach internship as well and now she is like uh, joining red hat so it's pretty cool that's amazing very great in last three months i also helped a university in kenya uh, a bunch of students to get involved with kernel and uh, i think in the kernel community uh, we should probably start something to uh, help uh, everyone who is like you know has geographical barrier as well because like they had internet issues and stuff but they were really interested in this thing uh so it was quite cool to do that maybe the same thing that conference relates for gathers we want like plumbers we have like many different mini micro conference maybe you should at some point you could have a micro conference on people around the world trying to to bring up new people what's what, yeah. what you learn what we did what works what doesn't work yeah like open yeah. education yeah. i love that idea submit it Let's make it happen. Thank yeah. you so very much again. Is there something you'd say to everybody that's watching right now across the various medium, interested in kernel recipes or beyond? Uh, just keep learning. What a great message. Thank you so very much for your thank time. You. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you.